But here on the first floor, I mean, we are getting major, major activity. Alarm's going off. Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't, don't! Something just came running up the steps. We're at 109 North Walnut in Sydney, Ohio. My dad got sick about seven years ago, got angry, and I cussed the Lord. I watched him get sick, and our lives all together kind of spiraled out of control. Don't mind. Uh, God, it's so good to meet you. It's so good to see you guys. You guys, you come in. I know you were talking about footage and stuff. This is my ex-wife. He bought this place, and we moved in together. And it just seemed like things got worse to the point where we divorced two years ago. I was sitting at my mom's house on the. Back of the window is a picture of my brother that has passed. There was a cross and then a picture of my sister that just passed in April. And this cross come flying off the wall. Mom's lived there for months. It hit me in the shoulder and landed in front of me. I look down and the cross is in front of me upside down. So I pick it up and I have this unnerving, weird feeling. About three days later, an upside down cross formed in the mirror in front of me, hear somebody outside laughing. So I get up and I go out, there's nobody outside. So I come back in and I lay down and I feel like I'm on a merry-go-round, like my whole place is spinning. And I'm like, something's not right. I feel like all of a sudden, like I can't move the whole room. My bedroom goes like super huge. I get really thin. Now I can't move. I can't open my eyes. I can't do anything and I see I see this face looking at me, telling me that my husband hated me, my dad hated me, and it says to me that it's going to take my life and completely turn it upside down. Finally, I could say that I'm a child of God, that you're not going to do this to me. God's got my back, and no matter what you do, and he starts laughing he said that he was going to show me that how much control he had over my life. I'll make your whole world spin. Now I feel like I've been picked up into a tornado and I'm spinning. Started to try to say the Lord's Prayer and I can't get through it. I couldn't believe it had so big of a hold on me that I couldn't say the Lord's Prayer. I said out loud you will not control my life. You will not control my body. You are no longer welcome here. You are to leave and never return. Something told me to open the blind. So I opened it and I fell asleep until 2 p.m. the next day. And I woke up to the curtain still in my hand at 2 p.m. I had this massive headache and I came here. So I get here and he knows that I'm unnerved completely. I slept for like three days and when I left here that third day, I felt so relieved and I laid there and I said, Jesus, if you're listening to me, I know whatever was with me is now with him and I'm terrified. Whatever was with me was extremely bad. I could just feel that there was something attached to me more than one. I said, whatever was human at one point doors will slam like right before I would leave this place doors will slam and it doesn't slam in ones it slams in threes furniture will move and you'll go downstairs and nothing's moved nothing nothing's out of place like it seems like somebody has taken a couch and like drug it clear across the floor downstairs but there's nothing moved nothing moves in this place but you'll hear it you'll hear the furniture moving you'll hear the doors slamming feel like so much anger where you just 
don't know why, but you just feel like that. Or you'll get to the point where you'll feel like you can't breathe. I was the source of activating this place. And I knew that if I seeked out help, they were just gonna throw pills at me because this is not something that you can fix. This is something that I need help. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn. Some of the texts that I get from him scares me to death because it's not him. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Hopefully you guys can figure out what's going on. I don't know what's going on. There's been so much stuff in this house that who knows what's here. I don't... <laughs> I feel horrible not knowing if I want to find him dead because of the things that it says to him, things that it does to him, the way it makes him feel. My daughter that night said, Mom, there's crosses on all my windows, upper and lower and all the mirrors. I don't want to be here. I don't, I want to leave. But then when I go to leave, you hear slamming doors and furniture moving. It took me a couple hours to figure out this face. I've seen this face before. The eyes are black, the mouth is black. And it dawns on me that the face that I seen was kind of like the face from Sinister. Like where he recruits these children to, to kill their... To kill their family. So I don't know. I'm scared for everybody around me. I'm scared to go anywhere. Since all this has taken place, I don't know what else to do. It manipulates you to do things that you wouldn't normally do. It makes you feel like you don't want to live. You'll sit for hours in a spot. So this thing could get pretty dangerous. And I'm kind of worried about what is doing to him doing it to you guys. terrified for everybody around me I'm gonna be honest just be careful just be careful what you guys do around here because whatever it is it's it's recruiting and if there is anything in this house is making it stronger here because things have gotten really bad and really strong since I left this place so just be careful I'm a little shaken it terrifies me I've seen that face. I'm terrified. It'll be okay. All right. She watched her father waste away. The most important man in her life, obviously. She watched him waste away to nothing. And she watched him pass away. And she called me when he was gone. She was never right after that. Not even close to, to how she was. That's when she started to spin out of control, and I told, I, I've always, I've studied into this stuff, spiritual possession, oppression, and things like that, where when you leave yourself open, and um, you don't take care of yourself, and, and you wind up doing things you wouldn't normally do, that's what led to our family falling apart. I think it tore her up so bad that something found its way into her mind, her heart, her soul, it really started happening here with me. I started hearing weird little things and, and having strange dreams. And, and I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming about things that happened in my life. It felt like I was communicating with him, like I was seeing him in dreams and talking to him and things. But he was conveying some sort of message to me that something was wrong, that her behavior wasn't, um, Is it banging? It was my job to figure out what it was, and I didn't understand. You know, what am I supposed to do? What do I do? I don't. I, I don't know how to, anything about this. Well, I started researching and seeing what I could find out about it, and um, I'm sorry. I'm. I need help. I'm starting to get hot. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm starting to sweat.
I can't stop sweating and shaking now. I don't know what's happening to me right now, but I'm sorry. <coughs> oh. I don't even remember what's going on. Yeah, I shouldn't be bleeding like that. I know, that's why I wondered what is going on over here. What are you feeling? I'm freezing, but I'm sweating. He acts weird, he gets angry, he lashes out, he... He talks this crazy talk about wanting to die. <laughs> this hey, being here is scary. It's, so that's the only thing I know to do anymore is just to get him outside this house and kind of let him breathe. And Okay, let's take a break. Let me take that mic off you. Here, let's get you out of this house. Here. Okay, so you guys see this went really bad. Right now our main focus is making sure he is okay. We'll see if we can continue the interview. Hello? Who is in this house? Who are you? I want you to stop affecting people inside this house. If you're near me, give me a sign of your presence. But this is one investigation. I don't think the three of us should separate at all. We should just stick together tonight. Are you attached to this family? Okay, I'm getting out of here. My freaking camera. I'm getting out of here. I'm in here by myself. This is not safe. Okay, I'm gonna go find Rocky and Sean. I'm in this house by myself right now. We heard it out here. Hold on a second. It gets loud? Yes. I need somewhere to stick. I was up there talking to it. Yeah, just about affecting you. I was hearing banging and stuff. And then all of a sudden, the camera, excuse my language, all right. you know, we're all flies thing. off the uh, mantle and across the room onto the floor. I told you, I'm, I'm scared She's for you guys, to, to be honest. Whatever's I'm going on, it's choking me bad, man. It's, it's fighting back. I told you whatever I left here. That's the boyfriend that was 
was with him during the car accident. I told you whenever I left here, he's gonna fight you guys. <laughs> yeah, I've got it on video because I had one camera getting a wide shot and then something like banged on the door. I barricaded myself in the bedroom last night because we knew you were going to be here today. You could hear the door handle jiggle and then the jiggling would stop and the door frame would shake. I've been battling this thing and, and I'm I, communicating with you guys that the activity ramped up. I told you, you guys got to be careful in this house. I don't even know where my... Oh, there's one part of my... There's the other part of my camera. Yeah, it was sitting right. I mean, look how wide that shelf is. Yeah. That shelf. You mm -hmm. can look. Let me see that camera, please. I mean, you can see how much that camera is on that shelf. There's no way it would fall. No. That's that door that we keep telling you that just opens and closes. We heard that banging clear outside. That was the camera falling. Yeah, and you look how wide that shelf is. Yeah. There's no way one of these, I mean, it's wider than the camera itself. Right. And I had a camera facing, I don't know how much of this camera caught it, because I had a camera facing this way, because I heard something banging on the door. Then I had that camera here, and I was talking into it. And it just went. I right said, give me, I said, give me a sign. I just gotta stay focused. I kept telling him that it was not gonna let him tell the story. It was not going to make this easy for any of us. I'm surprised that camera wasn't destroyed. Okay, look at me for one second. I'm gonna get a hold of this thing real tight. Experience that she had that night. She came here and she was a complete wreck. I knew before she got here that something was wrong. I talked to her about the things that had been happening to me in the house. It's my job to take this thing from you. And she says, well, when you take it from me, what are you supposed to do with it? I, said, I haven't gotten that far yet. I had no idea what I, I just knew that it was my job as her guardian to take this thing. She was reluctant. She wasn't gonna let me do it. I thought that I was getting into her head and taking this thing from her. But what I was really doing was inviting this thing to attach itself to me. So I invited this thing to attach itself to me. Before we got... Before we got divorced, I watched this thing wreck an amazing woman. I knew there was more than one that was attached to her. So I invited all of them to give her a chance to get her life back. She had taken on enough spiritual battles it was time for me to take on the physical battle. So I invited these things so she could be free of it. And I told her it's time for you. It's time for you to go live your life and it, let me take it from here. <clears throat> so I took on the battle and she left and she would send me messages and tell me that uh, she felt better. I didn't know what I was going to do with the things after I had gotten them. I started to pray. She taught me how to pray. I started to, to pray at night and um, I knew what I was supposed to do. I woke up and I just felt it. I knew what I was supposed to do. Um, and it was almost like a dream that I had. It was like a, I was in a dark street. I didn't recognize where I was. There was uh, three figures in front of me. One of them was in the back. It was almost just like a shadow. And there was two other ones that were just walking back and forth and, and just making noise and talking. And I'm in this dream and I'm walking towards them on this dark street. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is what I'm here to do. This is the battle that I'm here to fight. I know, I'm ready. And I went to go towards these things and I stop and I, I start to think about it. You have a choice right now. You know, you, you can 
turn around and now you can turn around and walk away or I'll take your life away from you because you hurt my wife Just like that, <clears throat> the battle was over. The two of them walked away and they disappeared into the darkness and the one just kind of stood there. And I, I, it, I felt like I could breathe fire. <laughs> These things that had destroyed such a wonderful woman, I just, I just defeated them. They walked away from me. They ran from me. And I felt powerful. I'd really accomplished something. And uh, I woke up the next day. She said that she asked the Lord to send a powerful angel to stand beside me. The angel that was standing next to me with his hand on my shoulder. And these things hadn't ran from me, they had ran from him. I had watched you cleanse homes um, with the blood of Jesus Christ and the sign of the cross and it's like someone has tried to either cleanse that home that you live in or keep something out at some point in history at some point in time we got rid of two of these things and the one is still with me I call it a spiritual battle because I don't know enough about it to call it anything else it's the whisper in your ear it's uh the shadow that you see out of the corner of your eye and you turn and look and it's not there. It's the sick feeling in the bottom of your stomach. It's the depression. It's the anxiety. Every day, every night, it's always there. I find myself sometimes thinking that uh, I just don't want to keep going. It's just a miserable, sick feeling every day all the time I feel like this thing is in my head and I have it wrapped up and I'm holding it tight I can't kill it and I can't get rid of it all I can do is hold on to it I had this feeling where I can't wait to get home and eat a bullet I do know that I made the right decision. Now I just need to find out what to do next. My daughter doesn't want to live here anymore. My ex-wife comes and visits. Just nobody really wants to be here. That's what's in the house. And everything I've ever worked for and everything that I have left is right here. And I've pretty much lost my whole family over it. And I know they still love me, but they, they can't come here. They can't be here. I don't know what to do next. And that's why I reached out to you guys. Any entities that are inside this house, my name's Josh. These are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. We came here tonight to talk to you. What the? We can hear you. I got an alarm if you come closer. Whoa, what that's a ball. What was that? Oh, the alarm's going off. That was a ball. Did you hear that? Whoa, what that's a ball. Was that? Oh, alarm's going off. That was a ball. Did you hear that?
the, the one in the attic's going off right now, then. Oh, Jesus! Oh, 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 hell no. What the hell was it? The, the one in the attic's going off right now, then. Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Oh, hell no. What the hell was it? Holy... Arm's going crazy, too. A fucking piece of wood fell. Where? Back here. Okay, we heard you. It's like running all over the place. Who are you? The, the alarm in the attic's going off the music box. Come forward. Whoa! Jesus. Big dark shadow right here. I hope my camera caught that. I don't have no lights or anything up here. There was a man standing right here. A huge dark mass. What is your name? Did you hear that? Yeah. I command you to come forward. This alarm is going nuts. Earlier I set the music box in here over by that window and it wasn't going off and then next thing you know me and Rocky was just sitting here getting stuff ready. That thing would not freaking shut off. I walked around this corner it looked like a man was standing right here. What is back here? Who did I see? I want you to come forward. I want to see you again. Come out this way because I can't see any IR light. Put your arm again. Who was the one that knocked my camera off the shelf earlier? I want to know who's affecting this family. Dude, I mean, all of our freaking alarms are going crazy inside this house. They said that you're dangerous. You've already proven how powerful you are. Yeah, that was freaking, that sounded like a ball. Something on my leg, something just rubbed the bottom of my calf. It just rubbed right there. There's some... Whoa. Whoa. Dude, it sounds like something's like literally crawling on the Oh, alarm's going off. It sounds like something's like crawling on the ceilings. Come forward and talk to us. We've seen how powerful you are. Walking upstairs. Did something say no? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna be so jumpy now. Can you move away from my alarm? There's a voice. It's not like Mel's voice. Walk away from that alarm now. We know that you're trying to hurt this family. We're here to help the family. What the hell is that? I'm right your behind life. me. I freaking heard that and then the alarm went off. Do you not like us being here? Jeez, hear that? Here, you take this and give me that. Go back up to the top of that landing. Oh! 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 oh something just came running at me! Yeah, I seen a freaking shadow and it came running at me. Go after it, go. That's twice we've seen a shadow. Holy crap, Josh, this thing. Ouch! Dude, this place is freaking crazy. Hey! You 
keep chasing us. I keep hearing you. Oh, that freaking, those alarms right there never go off. That's how you know it's legit. We want you to tell us who you are. If you're upstairs, can you hit something really mm -hmm. hard? We've seen you. Did you live here? Which farm's that, downstairs? Did you live in one of these apartments? There's a walk downstairs. Let's go up to there. Wait a minute. This way. Come on, I got it. You guys ain't gonna believe this. Come on. No way. I got the creepiest feeling when I was in here earlier. Hold on. But I got the creepiest feeling when we walked through here with them. So when I was heading back, kind of thinking where to set arms up while you guys was in there talking, I came back in here and got the same feeling. And then we come upstairs here. Shh. Oh, that was a kid screamed. Sounds like there's something moaning. You hear a Was this your apartment? Are you, have you been trying to scare this family out of here? Yeah. Holy. Go, said that. go back there. Oh no! No, no! Something just came running up the steps. Holy crap. Okay. Go with him. Go. Are you freaking kidding me? Who keeps running at me? Tell me what your name is. If you're in that attic, do something. Dirty, what was that? I have no idea. Why do you stay in this place? Do you always stay downstairs? Whoever knocked over that camera, come out here to us now. This is where she feels creepy. Yeah, me too. They said you like to move things around up here. Can you move something for me? Something behind me. I heard it. Are you behind Rocky? Something's moving. Can you touch him? Specter. I got a cold breeze on my face. You blowing on me? There's all kinds of stuff up here to move. Move something. Come on, where are you at? I know there's somebody up here. Now this house has been here for a long time. Have you been here for a long time? Wow, wow, wow. I just heard a voice. It sounds like a man again. Do something and we'll stay up here a little longer and talk to you. Okay, we're leaving then. Did you guys hear that? Mm-hmm. Something just grabbed my back. My strap. Touch. Touch. Oh, something just grabbed you and it said touch. Look. Here, take this. Look. It went like this. It felt like it jerked on it. Did you just touch Rocky? As soon as you said something touched you, this thing came across and said touch. Yeah, it said touch. Creepy. Who touched Rocky? It's crazy. We're down here again. Now everything's going off. Everything's freaking going off. Whatever's in this house. Seems like he stays here. Is on this freaking floor. Who moved the wood down here? 
We know whatever's inside this house is intelligent. Are you trying to possess this family? Judy. There was a thump upstairs, Josh, right when that said that. Who's Judy? What is your name? My name is Josh. What is your name? I want to know who hiding. the... Hiding. Where are you hiding at? Later tonight, we're going to try to make you leave. We're here to help this family. Where are you at inside this house? Surgeon. Surgeon. Down the basement, a bombing people. Yeah. Did you live inside this house? Who is she? I don't know. They said Judy. Who's Judy? Are you attached to one of these family members? Who is the evil presence inside this house? Are you trying to warn us? They said that we would be in danger tonight. You showed me how powerful you were earlier. When you threw my camera across the room. I want to know who did that. Where did you go? So it was hiding. Sinner. Married. Married. Where are you hiding at? Why are you hiding now? That's funny. It said hiding and it's been quiet. It's like a different alarms go off in different parts of the building. Yeah. I want to find that one room. What did it say? Alan. It was Alan. Where are you hiding at? We're gonna find you. When we find you, we're gonna make you leave. You're no longer gonna affect this family. You're no longer gonna hurt this family. Your days are numbered here. Oh, that's right. We were downstairs. Grab that knife. Right there by your hand. Yeah. And move it. That way, if we come up them staircases, we ain't getting it dropped on us. Scenes. Oh, wow. What did it say? Scenes? Like, I don't know if that could be oh, like movie scenes. Like, Josh like, was doing like a scene. Like, Are you trying to hurt the people inside this house? Can you find us? I don't like playing hide and seek with ghosts. What happened to me? We don't know what happened to you. It is so f Douglas. Douglas. It was Douglas. They're talking more in here. Yeah. Is this where you're at? Is this where you're hiding? I want to know who tried breaking my camera earlier. Is there an evil spirit inside this house? Give us a sign of your presence. Who attached themselves to this family? Brandy. Brandy. Are you a human spirit? You get a lot of freaking names. But you gotta remember, um, they had what, six apartments or so in here? Yeah, they said there were a lot of ODs and deaths and stuff in this well, place. When he started cleaning out the place, you, you found, you know, needles down in the toilets and all that crap. Are you watching over your daughter? Yeah. Sorry. No way. Something just moved that. And so it scared you and it just said sorry. Glenn. If you're in here, can you give us a sign?
hit something really hard. It's like something. What happened, Josh? Something fell. Did you just throw something at Josh? Yeah, it's like when we're up on that floor, it's setting every freaking alarm off. But as soon as we leave that floor, it's like it don't hardly mess with alarms at all. Frustrated. Why are you frustrated? Do you not like us being here? Tell me. Yes or no? But who's the evil one? Who's the strongest? Eight. Eight. You know what's creepy? Is when you start walking down here in this area, it reminds me of like a haunted uh, attraction. Well, listen. You walking upstairs? Earlier he said footsteps. Danger. Danger. Am I walking into danger right now? Can you tell me what? It said do not. Well, you don't like me being down here? What happened right here behind me? Did they bring dead people down here to this basement? Something, yeah. Don't go there. Don't go where? Do you want us to be back upstairs? banging back here. I thought I seen something behind you too. It's straight back in that room. There's a very distinctive knock. Abused. Were you abused? Whoa! Stressed. Who was that? I heard you. It is knocking down here. We already it's in there. Go back in there. Great. Are you back here? This is where they did the bombing. Whoa, whoa. Did you guys hear that freaking voice? Well, you go get a shot. Why? Where are you? Here. If you're here, show yourself. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? Can you go under? No. It's walking right above us. Oh. Something flashed right there. I thought there was a room back over here. Nope, that's that one. Scared. Scared. Who is scared? Me. I think you're evil. Man. Man. It said a man. Where did you come from? That's that hurt. Oh. Death Brown. 
It said death room. I'm trying. I heard it. That's the one in the basement. Yeah, but it's like as soon as you come up here. Yeah, when you come up here, it's freaking crazy. Doorway. We're going through the doorway. John, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm about halfway down the steps right now, and just to let you know, I am terrified. And I got the EDI right now. What the heck was that? That's not a good start. And I cannot see nothing right now. Okay, it is like terrifying down here. But here on the first floor, I mean, we are getting major, major activity. Right here in this room, right in front of me, we caught the shadow, or Josh did. I was at the bottom of the steps looking. It was like this shadow figure came running at me. But being down there on the first floor, it looked like it was about waist high. Whoa. Hello? We saw you earlier. Where you at? Whoa. Did somebody just run for me? Where you at? This is so freaking scary. Can you get, tell me what your name is? Not much longer, we're gonna be making you leave. What do you think about that? What was this room to you? Why do you like being in here? I'll tell you what, it's cold, but like the left side of me is even colder. Are you close to me? My left arm is like freezing. Are you the evil one? Whoa. Temperature right there dropped down. What the hell is that? Can you hear me, Josh? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I'm on a chance and I'm gonna go down to the down the steps, okay? Holy shit. Hey, be careful down there because you know how dangerous it is down there. I know. Is there anybody down here who wants to talk to me? Man, it is crazy how quiet it is right now, Josh. Compared to earlier, this is freaking nuts. This scares me worse than anything. I'd almost rather have the activity than it be dead silent. Reminds me of like a horror flick or something. It's like as soon as you turn a corner, it's just going to come after me. Come on. I need you to come out and do something now. You can do stuff to this family, but you can't do anything to me. Alarm. I think it's upstairs. Okay, I'm coming up there. Whoa! What the heck? He heard that. Whoa! That was freaking loud. I was walking up the steps. Freaking sound like it was coming after me again. Like it was chasing after me again. I didn't catch my breath on that one. It's like it's following me. Yeah, this uh, 
kitchen area. I'm going to go in. Earlier when I came in here, I got the creepiest freaking vibe from it. Come in here with me. Let me know you're here. Come on, you keep chasing me. It's like you're sneaking up trying to catch me. Why don't you face me face right here, face to face? I'm going to the attic, Josh. I don't feel very safe, but I'm doing it. Okay, I was hearing a man up here earlier. I heard you talking. Are you moving something? Where are you at? Whoa. Camera just shut off. Oh, Did you just shut my camera off? Come on, where are you at? Oh, something's moving up here. Whoa, come on. I gotta get this battery switched out. What is up? Come on, camera. Hi, I'm back. It's right when that kiss camera went dead. Luckily, I still got the GoPro here recording, but I started hearing footsteps. Voices. Josh, voices. Can you tell me your name? Whoa, Josh, get up here. Okay, shh, shh. Are you still here? I want to hear you again. But it was so much louder than it was that. Holy Can you say something again to me? Tell me why you're here. Okay. Yep. Holy crap. I don't know. I can't make it out though. There's a screen. Do you need help? I'm telling you, after it shut my camera off, it started going nuts. Okay. I'm not feeling good. I need to go downstairs. Oh man, I just feel really freaking dizzy right now. Yeah, I feel like I just freaking just fall down like my legs are getting about ready to move out. There's all kinds of stuff to move in here. This room is so freaking cold. I know you're in this room because it's freezing cold. I want to know how powerful you are. I think you're an evil spirit. You will no longer hurt this family. You've done enough damage. Whoa. That was super loud. Nobody's even in that room. The alarm's going off. Are you setting my alarm off? Sean! Rocky! Yeah. Yeah, I heard a real loud thud in here, in that room over there, the alarm was going off. 
I was I was all the way over here. Hear that? Hit something really loud again. Knocking. We hear her voice too, Josh. I did too. Knock on something or move something. Let us know that you're here. Let's go down those steps. We like it when you talk. When you're talking. Do you stay down here? Whoa. Did I just hear you? You hit something. Can you do that again? There's a lot of stuff here in the kitchen you can move. Can you do it? Why do you keep hiding from us? Whoa, did you hear that? That was freaking nuts. Some just goes, Rocky. Dude, it was like creepy as hell. It was like slow motion, you know, or kind of dragged out, I mean. Where it goes, Rocky. Alarm's going off. Okay. So is that you setting the alarm off? Yes. yes. What's your name? Are you by Rocky right now? It's, it's like freezing. I am freezing cold. Are you right beside me? Who moved our camera? Glenn, are you down here? Yes. I see. Who set the alarm off? Who's me? We know you're by Rocky because it's setting the alarm off. You say Rocky? Say my name. I'll walk back that one, just keep asking questions. Which one? Am I getting closer to you? Yes. Should we keep going? Yeah, we're not leaving. Oh, shit. I said the word. Did you hear it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> said Sean. Yes. yes. Do you want Sean to stay down here? We found your hideout spot. What do you want with his family? What was this room used for? So did they store your body down here? The ball of light just went right by you. Is that you that Josh just seen? How many spirits are in this home? Three. Three. What's your last name? We can say one. Well, I thought I heard two. That's our last name. That was a big back. ball of light right behind you. Back there, Blair. Did you die in one of the apartments? That's creepy. I said yeah. Whoever said yeah, what's your name? Don? Don? Did you die upstairs in the apartment? What was your door number? Say 22. I thought it said 2. 2. Alright, it's time for you to leave. Yeah, we're gonna see. You're gonna leave. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you please defend us and protect us during this cleansing.
In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command all spirits, all evil entities, and any curses that have been put in this place. Tonight you must leave. We're gonna seal this house with the holy water and the blood of Jesus Christ. We command you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. You will no longer affect this family. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Leave this house. You no longer have reign over this house. In the name of Jesus, leave. We seal this attic the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this door and this threshold, the blood of Jesus. Lord, we pray for this family that you protect them and watch over them. Any evil spirits that may be attached to them, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Leave this house. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We command you, in the name of Jesus, leave. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We seal this stairwell, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any evil spirits inside this house, we command you leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. All the evil and wicked spirits, go back to where you came from. Your reign here ends tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we cast you out. Lord, we pray that you continue to follow us and protect us. In your name, it is you who has the power to drive out these evil spirits, these nasty and wicked spirits. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you in the name of Jesus Christ, leave this house. We seal this basement with the holy water. Glenn, we want you to move on too. If anything is attached to them, we pray that you drive that away from them. Make them whole and clean again. Let their family come back together. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cast you out. We sell this entryway, the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. Lord, we just ask that you continue to watch over this family and keep them safe. Anything that is attached to them that's been harming them physically or mentally, in your name, we drive that out. Anything and everything evil and wicked inside this house, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cast you out.